This is the DOIO KB0301K which is a macro keyboard with 3 keys and 1 knob. On the box there are a few QR codes to access their pages and websites. This macro pad is also QMKVIA compatible and I have the white version here. It comes nicely packaged in this black box and included inside are a few accessories and the macro pad itself. So in the box there is a black type A to type C cable which is around 1 meter in length and a yellow plastic 2 in 1 switch and key cable puller. Here is the macro pad itself and it is really small and compact, it even fits in the palm of my hands. On the top is the DOIO logo, the three keys here, a small indicator light and the knob here actually has two rotating points with the silver outer ring and the inner black circle. The powder coated finish on the CNC aluminium case feels really great and it does have a little bit of shine to it. There's four rubber feet at the bottom and a frosted acrylic piece where you can kind of see the PCB inside. On the back you have a switch here to toggle in between the layers and the type C connection port as well. If you're wondering about the weight, it's right under 200 grams which is really light for a solid piece of tech. There is also lighting on this keyboard so you get per key RGB on the keys, one LED at the indicator light and some underglow RGB with the LEDs on the bottom of the PCB. The PCB here is not facing so the LEDs are on the bottom part as you can see. So what is this macro pad for? Basically this switch here allows you to toggle in between the 4 layers of the keyboard that you can customize in the VIS software. This LED indicates which layer you are on, so red is the first, green is the second, the third is blue and the fourth layer is white. The first layer here is already pre-programmed by DOIO, so the first key opens the My PC app in my computer, the middle key handles play pause, and the third key here goes to my homepage on the computer. The outer ring or the silver knob controls the previous and next track, while the black knob here adjusts the volume and mutes the audio when you press it down. As for the second and the third layer here, it has been pre-programmed to be used with some of Adobe's software. But if you don't want that, you can reprogram it or just reconfigure it with the QMKVIA software. So you can reprogram it to do whatever you want. The fourth layer here is already pre-programmed as well and it's for adjusting the RGB on the macro pad. The first key lowers the brightness of the lighting on the macro pad. The third one increases the brightness as you can see so it's pretty simple. The middle one cycles between all the RGB modes. There are quite a lot already installed here so the underglow and the RGB for the switches will be changed when you press on the switch. Here are just a few samples of the preloaded RGB modes. The PBT keycaps included are XDA profile so they are all the same height and kind Kinda has a matte texture finish on it but what I like is the thickness of the PBT keycaps. The switches included are Gatoron Milky Yellows which are pretty good to be honest. It even comes with an FR4 plate here and the PCB is 5 pin hot swap and no facing to as previously mentioned. Okay that's mostly everything but it's time to disassemble it because I always like to see how the components work. So here is a quick look at all of the components here. The two pieces of the knob here are also CNC aluminium and it feels really premium and solid in hand. The top case is also the same but what is really nice here is the powder coated finish and it's so matte that it doesn't show or pick up any fingerprints. Here is the bottom acrylic piece which doesn't show any fingerprints too and it's pretty cool with this opaqueness to it. And here is the main PCB which has the three switches on top with the FR4 plate and the knob here in the middle. Here at the back of the PCB is the type C port next to the mode toggle switch and the six LEDs for the underglow RGB. And as for the hot swap sockets, the ones used here are Gatoron sockets so that is good. And here Here's a quick sound test before I move on to my final thoughts on this macro pad.
So there's probably a lot of questions on this macro pad, like why and who is this for? Personally, I think everyone can use a macro pad like this just for shortcuts or small actions you might use on a daily basis. And with this macro pad being VIA compatible, it literally makes it so versatile in what it can do. So if you are interested in getting the DOIO KB 0301K, links will be provided below and thanks to what gig for the macro pad in the video. So that wraps it up for this video, leave a like if you liked it, dislike this video if you didn't like it and remember to subscribe and for the meantime you can check out other videos I've done.